So I was asked to uh, edit a photograph, a now quite famous photograph of the three Cambridge children and the Duchess. Yes, former Fox News host Tucker Carlson is involved in the newest wrinkle in the Kate Middleton saga. He isn't implicated in an affair, nor does he have privileged information about the Princess of Wales' health status, but he did get pranked. The prankers in question were Josh Peters and Archie Manners, who have a popular YouTube channel, Josh and Archie, where they do sometimes elaborate practical jokes. And this one was a doozy. They convinced Carlson that they were the ones who photoshopped the now infamous Mother's Day photo, where Kate is seen with her three kids, George, Charlotte, and Louis. In case you have somehow missed all the pomp and circumstance, here's a quick rundown. Kate got a planned abdominal surgery in late January. According to Kensington Palace, she'd step away from her royal duties until after Easter, March 31st, 2024. But her absence from the public eye sparked wild speculation about her health, even when photos of her emerged. You've got some people suggesting that it isn't her, that it's a body double, that it's her sister Pippa, and that actually she's still in a medically induced coma. So on Mother's Day in the UK, March 10th, the palace released the photo, said to be taken by Prince William, of Kate with the kids. News agencies quickly noticed it had been edited. Kensington Palace laid the blame on Kate herself for editing the photo, in a message signed C, to indicate Kate herself wrote it. Many didn't buy that Kate would have done that herself. This is the royal family. They don't do anything themselves. They don't even pick their own noses. They have butlers for that. So Peters and Manners stepped forward to claim they were the ones who did it. And Carlson took the bait. The YouTube duo celebrated their prank, posting a video about it on March 14th. Tucker Carlson's people have replied, uh, they're calling today at 6 p.m. As of the making of this video, their video has gotten just over 86,000 views on YouTube. In it, the creators showed that they gave an interview for the Tucker Carlson network under the pretense that Manners was a former employee at Kensington Palace. Apparently, a lot of work went into fooling the former Fox News star, who now hosts his show on X, formerly Twitter. The YouTube pranksters provided Carlson's team with a falsified contract, claiming that Manners worked for the palace, and an in-depth explanation of his job there. They even re-edited the infamous photo of Kate and her kids to try to prove that they had the original unedited version of the image. The real original image has not been released. It really seemed to have Tucker fooled. We've done our best to verify that we were dead people. Say it is not a fake about me or not being pranked. In an interview with Deadline, Manners claimed that flattering Carlson by giving him the exclusive interview claiming that, quote, the mainstream media in the UK wouldn't touch it, helped to get them on the show. Despite accomplishing that mission, though, they didn't let it get out of hand by allowing the interview to air, instead posting their video to YouTube and X to let everyone, including Tucker, know that it was all a joke. Lots of commenters on the duo's YouTube and X accounts asked why the creators chose to publicize their prank before it actually aired. Manners told Deadline, we didn't want to cause any more rumors that are not true to go out to lots and lots of people. In a separate interview with Time, Peters further explained the reasoning behind their decision, saying, We obviously discussed it, but we thought that it would be a bit irresponsible, potentially, to let the actual interview publish. So while they were more than happy to prank Carlson, they didn't want to prank the entire world. Peters added, we just thought that this interview would obviously go so big on Tucker's channel that it could potentially do some harm. So we thought it was a better idea to get it up first and to show what we did. 